started your timer and here is your question. All right, so if you have read and understood, considering it's surgical and automation, kindly yeah. tell me if you can identify what are you looking at in image A and B. I'm looking at two as uh, foot bones and uh, bones of the foot, yes. at, uh, Which side? Uh, there are its left uh, yeah. foot. Very good. Yes. All right, if you can please identify in the image A, 18. Uh, system reticulum to lie of the calcaneus. Very nice. Good. Excellent. If you can identify, please, a 9. Uh, it's, uh, this is talus, hook of yes. talus. Uh, lateral tuberculous talus, yes. If you can identify 2, please. Uh, 2, it's uh, uh, cuneiform. Q cuboid. All Q right. Uh, uh, 21. Uh, twenty one. It's uh, one minute. It's uh, twenty four. No, to burst your navicular. We just yes, to burst your navicular. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Moving on to number ten. Uh, number ten. This is a twenty four. Yes. Yes, medial twenty. Medial twenty. All right. Moving down here in image B. If you can identify nineteen. Uh, sinus tersi or uh, yes. ter tersi sinus. Yes. What's the significance of it? Uh, what is uh, yes? Tarsus we use the, we use this for uh, mini injection, steroid okay. injection. In uh, of what conditions? Um, uh, if there are uh, ligam uh, ligamentous inflammations, there are. Uh, uh, tendon uh, osteoarthritis, there are adhesions. Can you identify number uh, right 17? It's calcaneus. Yes. Okay, 20, please. 20 is, uh, uh, I know this, but I uh, for what it's uh, lateral, yes. lateral tuberosity of fifth metatarsal. It's the tuberosity of base of fifth metatarsal. Yes. What attaches here on twenty? Uh, twenty. It's uh, uh it's uh, to be added posterior. Can you please tell me how many arches of foot there are? How would you classify them, or how would you describe them? Uh, muscle of foot. Or arch. arches, of, arches of foot. How many arches of foot there are, are there? There are medial arch, lateral arch. Uh, there are uh, medial arch. So broadly, uh, you can divide them into longitudinal and transverse. So there is yeah. one transverse arch and there are two longitudinal arch, medial and lateral. Can you please yeah. tell me the components of medial longitudinal arch? Uh, medial, it will be... Uh, the cuboid, the cuneiform, and navicular, and uh, uh, not cuboid, uh, uh, cuneiform, sorry, navicular, yes. and um, uh, all three first metatarsal. yes, all three medial three metatarsals, calcaneum, talus, and navicular. And what ligaments, please, quickly? Uh, the uh, peroneus longus, no, ligaments, androsius and spring ligaments. Which muscles are involved? Can you tell me quickly? Bernays tertius. Uh, no, tibialis posterior and anterior. 
flexor hollows is longest and this torum longest and brevis. Okay, can you please tell me yes. uh, in the next image, if we could, what is number six, if you can identify, please? So, deltoid ligament. Yes. What are the components of deltoid ligament? How is it formed? It's from uh, medial uh, mellulose to uh, sustenticum ticulum coli of, uh, of calcaneus. Okay. Can you please identify 26 and 18 as well, please? Yes. Yes. 26 uh, is. Six, six is right from uh, yes, 26. Six is right. 26 and 18, please. Okay, it's uh, uh, tw uh, 26 spring uh, ligament. Fibrosity of uh, navicular bone. And 18 is. Uh, Calcaneo uh, uh, ligament. Yes, spring ligament. You are right. Okay, moving on to image D. If you can identify number one, please. Uh, number one, it's a uh, uh, spring ligament. Tallofibular ligament. Okay, if you can identify number three, is this number three and this number three the same? Yes, it's the same. It's calcaneo, uh, fib uh, calcaneo fibular ligament. Yes, and nineteen. Last, please. Uh, cal uh, it's uh. I don't know. Posterior telofibular ligament. Okay. Can you tell me, you've already told me the attachment. Okay. Uh, what type of movements are present at subtalar joint? Uh, inversion and eversion. Very good. Can you t tell me the muscles which are responsible for this action? Uh, tibialis uh, anterior for uh, 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 and tibialis uh, posterior and anterior for eversion. Yes. And for inversion, it will be... Uh, for so, inversion, so, tabulis anterior and posterior. For eversion, perineus, longus and longest. brevis. brevis okay. yes. Can you tell me what are the bones which form the ankle joint? Uh, okay, it will be uh, fibula, lateral part of fibula and lateral part of tibia and uh, talus uh, with calcaneus uh, and uh, there are reformed uh, uh, ankle joint. In which position uh, ankle joint is more stable and why? Uh, in uh, dorsiflexion because the talus uh, part was, uh, uh, it's uh, become up and the same part it come, posterior become uh, down. This is uh, uh, fills the mortis uh, space and stabilizes the joint more than uh, plantar flexion. Okay, can you please tell me uh, what are the structures which pass behind the medial malleolus? Behind the medial malleolus, it will be uh, bronius longus and uh, uh, sciatic, uh, short sciatic, uh, great sciatic nerve? No. Great sciatic vein, sorry? No. Uh, there, have you heard of... Uh, there's a slang people remember structures passing behind the median malleolus with that. Yes. I, what is it? Uh, okay. Can you tell yes, me how okay. the, the uh, Harry Dick and something? I don't know. Uh, point. Uh, can you tell me how the ten and the echelous tendon is formed? Uh, okay. From uh, uh, gracilis and the uh, blanter. Yes, Gastrocnemius and the plantaris and the soleus are uh, yes. three muscle tendon uh, insertion into calcaneus and uh, they form the tendon Achilles. Okay, can you tell me the attachment of peroneus longus muscle, please? Uh, peroneus longus muscle, uh, I don't know. Okay, we learned that. Can you tell me what are you looking at right now? I'm looking for uh, ex muscle extensor or the dorsum of the foot. Okay. Can you please identify number seven? Number seven is extensor uh, halus longus. Uh, can you tell me the... Uh, yes, it's right. Can you tell me the attachment of this muscle? 
attachment there are uh, from uh, the the first digit the first uh, the big two of the leg. you have to learn this 17 can you identify please quickly tiberius uh, posterior uh, bronius tertius sorry tibialis anterior okay can you please identify number six number six uh, uh extensor uh, halosis brevis yes okay if you can please identify number five here number five uh extensor digitorum uh, uh, longer yes okay can you please identify number 12 over here extensor uh, uh, digitorum brevis peroneus tertius peroneus tertius okay moving on Okay, that was it. Can you tell me the blood supply of the dorsum of the foot? Okay, is it all from tibialis anterior? Sorry? Tibialis anterior artery, they are turned from dorsalis bedus and uh, uh, make uh, some blood supply of the dorsum of the foot. Sorry? All the medial and lateral plantar uh, arteries are formed. Uh, there are or from they are branches of what? They are from tibialis uh, posterior, uh, and uh, uh, they are joined to tibia uh, joined to tibialis anterior by medial and plantar uh, branch, and after this anterior join uh, to them, and they are from uh, posterior tibial artery branch of tibial. tibial uh, Stereotypical artery. Okay. Right. Can you please tell me one more question? And then. Right. If we can just quickly. A sensory supply of the foot, if you can tell me. Okay, uh, there are uh, two sides, the lateral and the medial, they are from shoral nerve and the anterior uh, dorsum uh, or dorsum all, uh, all the dorsum except the web space by uh, 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 superficial bronial nerve and deep bronial okay. from uh, first web. Yes. And uh, the uh, calcaneus, uh, the, there are anterior plantar and posterior plantar. Uh, so lateral and medial ball, uh, Laterally, sorry, yes, uh, the small toe and the lateral part of the foot is supplied by the sural nerve and uh, on the dorsum and the wedge of the great toe and the second toe, it is by the deep fibular nerve, the rest yes. by the superficial fibular nerve and uh, the medial part of the foot by the spinous nerve. All right. Yes. Okay, thank you.